Welcome to this video where we are going to discuss how to create a profitable website using AI. You can do this. Anyone can do this if you know three things. You have to know, number one, the tools to use. Number two, you have to know the strategies. And then you need to know, number three, the most important thing, which we'll go over in this video, is where to spend your time. Because there's a lot of different things you can spend your time on when you create a website, when you're making money online. But you need to focus on specific actions every day to make this work. Now, here's the tech stack the tools that we need listen there's a lot on this list but it really is not that complicated even beginners can do this but check it out this right here when we get into creating content that's probably the number one tool you will need we'll go into that later in this video but starting out we need a website we need hosting we need a unique website for you to be successful to send people to your website to then monetize i'll teach you how to do this and what i recommend is go to namecheap you can type in you know what domain you may want jessetravels.com i like branded websites i'm always going to be jesse my name's jesse your name may be bob bob travels you're always going to be bob right you can brand it under yourself or you can make it like a more general brand like um, epic gardening does right kevin and his company they do epic gardening so you don't have to make it about yourself but make it a brand make it something that you can brand over time on different platforms and then after you have the domain i recommend a good host Kingsta for me is a good host. It's a little bit expensive, but those two things, you need a domain name and then you need to host it. Now we're gonna skip ahead a little bit. This is very important because this video is all about how to use AI in different ways. It's gonna be more than what you see here. How to use AI to make money on your website. This tool I use almost exclusively. It's very good when we create blog posts. You've heard of a blog. This is how I create them, seowriting.ai. I'll have a link in the description. So check it out, one click blog post. It used to take hours to create a blog post. Now it takes one second, you're gonna see this. So let's say we wanted to type, uh, we wanted to talk about the best beaches in Hilo, Hawaii. I used to live in Hilo, used to work in Hilo, Hawaii. I'm curious what this comes up with. There's a lot of toggles you can do, you know, point of view images, but let's just say, let's just run and see what this thing does. And just like that, we have an 1800 word blog article. Now the tricky part is, is it accurate? Because a lot of people say that blog posts are not accurate if they're AI generated. So let's see, what are the best beaches in Hilo, Hawaii? I should know these things. Coconut Island, okay, I've been there. Coconut Island is a real place. I pulled it up on TripAdvisor. This is what it looks like. Very cool, it's a little island off there into the water. Not very big, Coconut Island, real place. Here's the AI image, okay, AI image. You can say what you want about it, but it's just a placeholder. Reeds Bay Park. Um, that's off of Banyan's Drive. That's real. Onikaha Kaha. That's a children's beach. Been there. Awesome. And right here, we have a video. So the AI is all of a sudden able to pull in videos too. This was just with a click of a button, right? How easy is it to create content? Keoloha Beach Park, Carl Smith Beach Park. I think that's Four Mile, right? Four Mile Beach. It even knows the alternate name that the locals call it, Four Mile Beach. So there you have it. Do you see how easy it is to create content now? Now we're gonna get a little technical here. I do not like doing videos that are just top level. We need to come here and then we need to get down into the weeds. I'll come back up in a second. But listen, ChatGPT is very easy to use. You can ask it things such as, give me 25 different places in Hawaii for best beaches. And then it says, sure, here's 25. What we can do is take these, we can copy these, come back to this tool, seowriting.ai, and instead of just doing one blog post, we could do a bunch of blog posts. And all of a sudden, we have 25 different articles. Watch this. We can click this button, and it will generate the titles for the different places. It's going to write, just like that, with a click of a button, 25 different things on the best beaches in Hawaii. Kailua Beach, Oahu, Waimea Bay, Oahu. It's going to write them, just like that. Just like you saw the quality on the last one, it's gonna have 25 similar quality articles, and the cost is negligible when you consider what it used to cost and the time it used to take to create blog articles. Now, because we're on a travel kick, we may as well get onto a blog. I'll show you how this blogger is making money. So the World Travel Guy is a great blog. Look down here, right in front of our face, we have this advertisement. We have this advertisement. If we come to their blog, I'm sure we're going to find more things. I'm curious, do they do any other type of advertisement? So this is a full width website. Oh, okay. Full width featured image. It looks nice. And then we have the sidebar. I mean, there's ads all over the place. This is probably how they're making money. 
Uh, maybe even making money via an affiliate link. So an affiliate link is if you say, hey, look, we went to this hotel, check out this hotel. If they click that link, there's an opportunity for you to make money if they book. There's a lot of money in that. Now look here, you should be seeing something pop up on your screen. Do you see that little pin it button? We're gonna jump into that real quick here, but you have to ask yourself this question. How is the world travel guy, how is any blogger right now using number one AI to get people to the website. You can create the most beautiful website in the world, but if no one sees it, who cares? So in the next part of this video, we're gonna talk about how to actually get people to your brand, whether or not you're a business or you're a blogger or a combination of the two, right? How do you get people here? And it used to be Google. It used to be that you could just spin up a website and Google would give you traffic, but those days are kind of over. It may switch back eventually, but now we have different tactics. Now, remember in the beginning of the video, I said, you need to know, number three, you need to know where to focus your time. And that's what we're going to talk about now. Most people who watch this channel, and of course, there's exceptions to the rule, but most people who watch this channel have what are called niche websites. People that are in that boat, the opportunity now is Facebook and Pinterest, for the most part, in research. Combine research with these two facets. I'm going to show you how to do this. That's how you can drive a lot of people to your website, to your brand. Now, if you own a business, a real business, you still have opportunity with Google.com. In fact, a lot of our clients crush it on Google. But if you're just running a niche website, which is a website designed just to answer people's queries people's queries. I have a question about X, Y, and Z. What are the best beaches in Hilo, Hawaii? You answer that. That is a niche website and we're trying to get away from that. But let's talk about Facebook, Pinterest, and how to research to drive traffic to the website. Now, two things before we get into the technical stuff. If you go to my YouTube channel, I have two dedicated places. Do you see this for Facebook marketing, for Pinterest marketing? We have done many videos. Tens of thousands of people have used these tactics because they work. So check these out after you watch it. There's dedicated videos on Facebook, dedicated videos on Pinterest, and so on. And then if you really want to go down the rabbit hole, we have a forum, the Maverick Forum. Do you see this? Here's what we're talking about today, right? Right now today. And you can see the activity off to the right, seven minutes, 12 minutes, one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five. There is so much activity right now in this forum. There's well over 200, 250 people in here, probably more by the time you watch this video. If you have questions, if you want to figure out how to do this stuff, this is where to go. Now let's have a little fun. Let's talk about AI and Pinterest. This is just a feed right now. This is not my stuff. This is probably, for the most part, I have an eye for it, you may too, all AI. For the most part, this is AI stuff. That person right there, I'd be willing to bet is AI generated, all of this stuff. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and why I think it's a really good tactic right now on Pinterest. Bonsai Mary, Here's all the stuff on one of our pages, all AI generated. I'll show you how to do this in this video. Why is it cool? It's cool because Pinterest is a platform for people to come and get inspiration. It doesn't matter that this cool little bedroom's not real, in my book that is, right? Because someone just wants inspiration to then go to Ikea, go to Target, go to Walmart, go to Amazon.com and buy these different things to try to make it look like that right? It's just a design to get inspiration from. Ooh, I like the vibes of this thing. How the heck can I get that in my bedroom? And right here we have keywords. We're going to talk about that, right? Right here, vintage Persian rug and sophisticated boho bedroom. How do we know to put those keywords in? Why do we do that? Now let's pump the brakes for a second and talk about this. Very important. So on this page, I'm showing you, here's the charts. Impressions look good. Saves are up outbound clicks are up. Those are the three metrics on Pinterest that matter a lot, but the most important one is outbound clicks. So you can see this is the last 90 days on this page and we're doing pretty good. We're doing four to 500 clicks per day. We're not putting too much effort into this page anymore, just kind of letting it ride. And what this means money-wise is this page can produce about $15 of income a day, just passively, just sit in there. We don't do anything. It can just do that on its own. And it will show you, here's the top pages. But how the heck did we know which things to talk about? That's very important. How did we know Boho Chic, 
This one right here meets Green Oasis, blah, blah, blah. How do we know to write this one? It's keyword research. Keyword research is how you dominate. And just showing you this quickly for interest of time, this is pin clicks, this is a paid tool. If you wanna dominate, like I was saying, keyword research is the first step on Pinterest. Basically, we need to know what should we write on Pinterest. So boho bedroom decor. All right, what is the top page here? We're gonna click by saves, we're gonna sort it. Let's identify, this is the number one. 20 cute and stylish boho dorm ideas. Now, nowhere else on the internet can you find these keyword annotations. The tool provides these different things, which you should consider injecting in the description of Pinterest. I know we're getting technical. I know we're getting technical. Join the forum if you have specific questions. But let's just do this. Let's grab here. Let's just grab some ideas. Let's come to Ideogram and let's create. That was the Hawaii thing. We don't want that. Let's just create something like uh, create a realistic image of a boho bedroom um, for a woman. And as you can see, it's starting to render 70, 80% done. The AI is spitting out images. And just like that, we have beautiful designs. This one, this first one here, probably not going to use on Pinterest because the words are all messed up. But look at the three of them right there. You can use this tool, Ideogram, and get 25 free uh, searches, I guess you could say, free creations a day. And it gives you four each time. That's 100 images a day. Look at this. This right here could drive traffic to your website. Dependent upon your niche, you can use tools like this, a free tool, and it's going to create insane things with AI. So we demonstrated you can create copy with AI, SEO writing.ai. You can create images now with Ideogram, just like that. How hard was that? And last thing is this, the keyword research, right? Boho bedroom. We know that boho bedroom's probably good. It's probably a good thing, but is it? Is it really? And what are people typing in? Because if you're doing guesswork on Pinterest, and guesswork is this, I think I should be writing about or creating pins about this, well, that's guesswork. You need to figure out exactly what to do. Otherwise, you're wasting time, you're spinning wheels. We're going to sort by popularity, and all of a sudden, we have a list of, I mean, we could export this list and just roll with it. Boho Bedroom Jewel Tone. How would I have ever known Jewel Tone is a thing? Not in a million years would I have known that without having keyword research. And that's the point. Figure out what people are typing into these platforms and serve them with what they're looking for. And I promised Facebook, look, this page doesn't look like much, does it? Well, guess what? It has 1.2 million followers. They are probably making money hand over fist, but we have a problem. I'm going to tell you the problem in a second. This was 16 hours ago. It has 2.1 thousand shares. Remember I told you I have a whole thing dedicated to Facebook on the YouTube channel? Check that out, right? This page here, how hard is it to create images like that? Not hard at all. I asked it to create an extreme image of a mountain cabin. This one right here, this has, what is it? A, a jacuzzi tub with a fireplace. I like it, but our problem is this. I don't have any more tea. And when I run out of tea in a video, the video is over, right? Because I, I don't have my energy anymore. Bottom line, come to the forum, Maverick Forums. Look, even one minute ago, one minute ago, five minutes ago, six minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, I mean, the activity on this thing is, is incredible, right? 250 people plus talking about these things. If you want to learn, jump in there. I'm in there. I'll see you in there.